leaked. Mike exposed sharing 30k US dollars to each PDP NEC members. Hello viewers and welcome to InfoGist TV. Mike sharing 30k US dollars each to NEC members to keep current PDP executive for Tinibu ahead of the two 2027 presidential elections. Yes, Omike is sharing 30k US dollars each to members of the National Executive Committee NEC, of the People's Democratic Party PDP to pass a vote of confidence on the current leadership of the party headed by Umar Damagun as chairman and Sam Anyangu as secretary. Mwike and the duo of Damago and Anyangu are being used by the All Progressive Congress APC to destroy the PDP, weaken it, weaken its capacity for effective opposition, for an easy way for Bola Ametinibo ahead of the 2027 elections. A next pit meeting of the party is scheduled for Thursday, pre 18, 2024. The meeting would determine the fate of the already weakened political party. This was tweeted by Jackson Ude on his ex-handle, formerly known as Twitter handle. He also tweeted, Mwike's cash gift tear PDP apart. Yes, on Mwike's cash gift for house purchase for the chairman of the People's Democratic Party, People's D Democratic Party PDP. Uma Damagu and Secretary Sam Anyangu have set thongs wagon and caused trouble ahead of the party's neck meeting on Thursday. Mike also allegedly bought a house for Damagu for 350 million naira and Anyangu for 250 million naira in Abuja. He further gave them 2 million US dollars to share the to effect changes to reverse. PDP caretaker list last week. Wiki's antics have divided the Ellen opposition's party and rendering it a toothless opposition party. He has also promised to pay all the PDP staff's outstanding housing loans and other benefits. The reason the staff of PDP, Mrs. Chinwe Norom, director of the publicity, is mobilizing staff to support Damagun. Now the chieftain of the All Progressive Congress APC in River State, Eze Chuemeka Eze, has accused the acting national chairman of the PDP, Alhaji Damagun, of deliberately conniving with the avowed adversaries of the party to sabotage, sabotage rather ongoing efforts to stabilize leadership at all tiers of the party's hierarchy. In a statement made available to Blueprint in Port Harcourt, the APC chieftains said it inks to looting to learn that Damagu, who holds the exalted office of the national chairman, would allow himself to be stripped off his moral fiber and lured into the desperate scheme of Trisky provocators in their awkward desire to stifle opposition political parties and foist on the country a uniparty system in forgeance of their selfish private pursuits. He said recent events have clearly shown that the PDP National Acting Chairman is a mere jobber conscripted to sustain the worldwide of instability that has left the party in a perpetually perplexing Rigmarole since after the PDP presidential primary elections in 2022. Is further stated that the party would have since made significant progress in stabilizing its food if it had listened to his early counsel and calls from Nigerians across board for the expulsion of Yinsun Wiki and his rampaging band of unprincipled self seeking flatterers who had gone berserk after his woeful outing at the PDP presidential primaries despite the billions of River State 
fund expended on the ill-fated inordinate presidential bid. In his words, as a matter of fact, PDP has continued to rig my role in a circle because its leadership refused to adhere to my counsel on the urgent need to suspend Mwiki and his cohorts. Their refusal gave birth to the monster that Mwiki is becoming in the politics of the party and only God can save the party from the evil that Mwiki has become. He said that Mwiki, Damagu and their likes are overdue for expulsion given their immodest antecedents and only an unserious party like the PT PDP will continue to accommodate named saboteurs within its folds. Now the APC chieftains further noted that Honorable Ikenga Ugochinere and 59 other members of the House of Representatives deserve some accolades for their determined efforts to rescue the party from the mechanics of internal sabotage, while urging Ugochinere and his co-lawmakers to discard the idea of leaving the party, he called for support from patriots across the board, regardless of political party affiliations, to help lawmakers and his team drive home the demand of stable People's Democratic Party. Eze also regretted that Damagu and his Ings have weakened the leadership of the People's Democratic Party so much so that the party can no longer play the role of a vera opposition political party. He, however, noted that it is not too late for the People's Democratic Party neck to brace up and reposition the party for a greater path to rescue Nigeria from the mess she is currently plunged into by those who think that politics is all about their stomachs. He also warned that should after the neck meeting of the People's Democratic Party, the party fails to summon the courage to sanction those plain anti-party activities, then the party leadership should give way for credible leadership to take over the reins of the party to play a pivotal role as a responsible position, opposition political party in Nigeria. The APC chieftain said he stands on the People's Democratic Party crisis as premised on his advocacy for strong opposition political parties to checkmate and critic actions, policies and programs and or the excesses of the government of the day for general good and to particularly strengthen democracy in the Nigerian polity. Now on the alleged bribery of some members of the National Executive Council members neck of the People's Democratic Party with 30 US dollars, 30,000 US dollars each by the Federal Capital Territory Minister in Sumiki, as I said, the weight of the allegations calls for urgent questioning by the relevant security and anti graft agency. He further stated that it is sheer wastage and anti democratic and satanic for some undemocratic forces to spend such humorous amount of scarce state resource in the unproductive venture to keep the PDP in perpetual crisis ahead of the 2027 elections and cakes on Nigerians to rise in defense of our threatened democracy and hanging sovereignty under the current administration. Meanwhile, a meeting of the People's Democratic Party PDP caucus in the House of Representatives turned rowdy with the members sharply divided between those in support of the party's acting national chairman Uma Damagun and those against his continued stay as a leader of the party. A group of 60 members of the caucus led by Honorable Imo Ikenga Ugochinere had recently at a media conference accused Damagun of anti-party activities and demanded that he resign or be asked to leave the stage by the National Executive Council neck of the party. The meeting summoned by the leader of the caucus and minority leader Honorable Kingsley Chinda ahead of Thursday's National Executive Committee meeting reportedly had as its main agenda to pass a vote of confidence on the Magu being pushed by members of the caucus loyal to Minister of the Federal Capital Territory in the person of Yinsun Wiki 
However, it was gathered that the group of over 60 lawmakers under the auspices of Opposition Lawmakers Coalition maintained their grounds that the acting chairman should resign for some for someone from the North Central Zone to take over. While Guchin declined talking to the media after the closed door meeting, a member of his group who reviewed the outcome of the meeting on the conditions of anonymity said the move to pass vote of confidence on Damagu failed. We are glad that the plan of the pro Nwike group supporting Damagu fell like a pack of cards as we refuse all entries to perpetuate illegality and stocking of crisis in the party. Our position remains that Damagu must go for someone from the North Central to take over and complete Ayo's tenure. Our party needs to do overhaul and reformations. We currently have in the PDP a national leadership that is in bed with the APC and is working extremely hard to hand over the party to APC, the lawmaker stated.